A former pastor is facing child sex crime charges in the mountains tonight. Henderson County deputies say that 68-year-old Jimmy Taylor of Fletcher targeted three children between the ages of 5 and 15 years old. News 13's Ashley Searles is live for us tonight in Fletcher. Ashley, investigators say these incidents took place over the last couple of months. That's right. Officials here in Henderson County say that the first alleged victim came forward with accusations on Friday. From there, a full investigation was launched on Monday, and by yesterday, Tuesday, Taylor was behind bars. You know, when children are involved, children are innocent victims. So regardless if you're a parent or not, I think it does make it send it home a lot more when you are a parent. Uh, but these cases are very difficult. Deputies say that the first young girl told her parents Friday that 68-year-old Jimmy Taylor had targeted her. And from there, it was like dominoes. One girl led to the next. The victims did know each other, and, and possibly that's where the parent, one parent finds out, checks with other parents, and then we find out we have multiple victims. Now today, authorities are charging Taylor with three sex crimes. The alleged victims, three different girls between the ages of 5 and 15. At the end of the day, they were all three victims at some point in time, whether it was one a time or multiple times. A former pastor with a home in Fletcher, Taylor is now facing two felony counts of taking indecent liberties with a child and another charge of sexual battery for allegedly groping one of the girls under her clothes. Some of these instances did happen within the last uh, couple of months, yes. As far as how far back, we, we don't know that at this time. Officers today didn't release how Taylor knew the girls, where the alleged incidents occurred, and said it's possible more victims could come forward. For you know the, the sanity of the, of the victims at this point, um, I don't want to go into what their relationship was or, or, or whereabouts or things like that. Now, Taylor was released from jail on a $4,500 bond last night. He appeared in court for the first time this morning. Reporting live tonight in Fletcher, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.